Vern Glenn alongside now. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a good one for us. Right? I do. I certainly do. And I, you know, let's face it. When you're when you're young, okay, you think you're going to live forever. You get your whole life in front of you. But what if fate has other plans, like it did for the Running Man? Let's take you to Golden Gate Park. These days, Nate Freeze gets in a modest daily run. Almost eight years ago, the former Vermont state champion distance runner was thinking big. You have this sense of some big goal that you're building towards, and it creates this, it requires this investment every single day, but you always feel like you're moving just a little bit closer to that objective. Objective was the 2012 Olympic trials. His training included running about 100 miles a week. He was 27, not a care in the world. And then... I was going to go for my morning run, right. um, and I started to feel this tingling and lose kind of all sensation on the left side of my body, and you know, it started to black out. Freeze had a stroke. At 27? All he kept thinking in the hospital was... Can I run again? Doctors had no answers of why he had a stroke. As weeks went by, Freeze started entering races. Just before a race in Chicago, he got a phone call. The doctors had found that I have a hole in my heart. Career over. Now, it was about survival. The really, I think, scary thing about a stroke is once it's happened, you have lost that sense of you're bulletproof. So Freeze, one year after his stroke, took his personal experience and joined Grand Rounds, a data company in San Francisco which pairs patients and physicians to get the right answers. There shouldn't, as a patient, be this trade-off between making a confident decision and making an informed decision. Mm -hmm. But too often, that's the dynamic that patients face. Yeah, he was just so frustrated. He, he had this stroke, and nobody knew why, and it took forever. And so through grad school at Stanford and through his data research and background, he applied it to Grand Rounds, and now he's able to help other patients and match them with the right doctor to get the right answers to get the right treatment. That's he's fantastic. running again. Every so, now and then. Uh, did, he, did he have any, any surgery done on his heart or anything? He did, he did and, yeah. and, and, and now, I mean, he you'll see him occasionally running around maybe a couple miles at a time, maybe three, doesn't, doesn't push, push it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but as far as Olympics and 1,500 meters, it got, it's over. Got his memories, but he's got his health. But too. how inspiring, though, he was able to take a setback and turn it into something positive. Yeah, yeah, and Do yeah. something for other cool. people. Cool, quite too. a guy. Yeah. Thanks, Vern.